Hi. I know I said I would be back weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. Could even be three. I don't know. Um, but I had an urge to read some cards for the collective, whoever watches. And, um, you know, I don't like to shuffle on camera, so I pulled... Oh, I forgot this one. Um, I pulled all the cards. I came home. I lit a candle. I prayed. I meditated on the cards um, and just asked spirit or God, your God, whoever, to give me six cards for the collective and hopefully um, they'll do you some justice. If they resonate with you, that's great. If it doesn't resonate with you, just give it back to the universe. Um, and if maybe all six won't resonate, maybe one will, maybe five will. Just listen to all the cards, and if they resonate with you, then that's great. If they don't, it's all right. Um, before my little spiel, let me just let me just do the cards first. So the overall energy of all of us is the Ace of Pentacles, and this is a really good card. You know, Pentacles is money. Pentacles is Earth too, and material, um, but most of the time pentacles is money so this means god source whoever your god is is coming in with something big that is going to make good money for you so i don't know if you're getting a raise at your job or if you're getting a new job or what you know just look out for it or maybe it happened already who knows but that's the overall energy for all of us the first card is Page of Cups. Um, in every, like I looked at my book at the meaning. I looked on the, the here for the meaning. And everybody has a different meaning, you know. Um, all pages in the deck of a tarot, deck of, in, in the deck is young, young people, you know, young. I don't know what age is young, but. Pages are young, um, so they're very enthusiastic, and they have a lot of creative ideas, um, and they just go with it, you know, and then cups is love, cups is emotion, cups is passion, I should say. Um, so this could be like somebody coming into your life that either that you love, it could be a friend, a family member. Um, that you just met or somebody who you getting close to that you really um, care about or whatever. So this is a good card. So um, the next card was Seven of Pentacles. Again, Pentacles. So we already starting off really good. Seven of Pentacles is watching your money grow. Like you working really hard. You're standing back. You're watching what you're building, meaning in your career or your project. You're watching how hard you're working and it's paying off. So you're just standing back. See? See how she's standing back? She's standing back looking at her progress and um, harvesting it. You know what I'm saying? Making it grow. So excellent card. Uh, King of Wands. He is a leader. Now he, of course, there's no gender in tarot. So he is a leader. He is very um, proficient. He is um, a protector of his family and his community. Um, stable. Um, very kind and loving. So this is either you or you have somebody around you who is like this, a protector. Um, very good card too. So it's either you or somebody around you. Um, the next one is Ace of Swords. I always say when you see this, like the little cloud or even the, the light, that's the universe, which is God giving you a gift. Now, the Ace of Swords is an opportunity. God is giving you an opportunity that's going to be in front of you. And it might even be an obstacle, but you're going to cut right through that obstacle. It's going to be okay. So this is an excellent card. So whatever comes up in front of you in the next 30 days, um, or maybe it happened already. Maybe it happened yesterday or a week ago, and you just got right through it with no, with no cuts, no bruises, no flaws, and you came out the winner in it. That's because we got the 
Ace of Swords. Uh, next one is Judgment. Judgment is also a good card. It just means it just means you're reflecting on you know what happened you reflected on your past and now that you reflected you saying to yourself okay where did i go wrong what did i do how do i fix it you know what do i do where do i go from here and this is these are the steps that i am going to go in order to get to where i want to get to so that is what it's like a decision it's like you reflect and you say this is it and you make a decision on which way you want to go so this is a really good card because it really makes you look within it makes you look at yourself not second guess yourself but just look at yourself and um what you've done whether it's good or bad and say well i'm gonna do this again or i'm not gonna do this again uh, the next cup is the next cup. <laughs> the next card is uh, nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. And please don't think this means winning the lottery. <laughs> okay, this is just any. You know what? It could be. I don't know what your wishes is. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been wishing to, um, like have keep the job that I have, but move it closer or 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 go to a different area. And today they told me that I will be going back to the original spot that I um, was at. So that was kind of like my wish fulfillment. So it could be something small. It could be something big. I don't know what your wish, it, wish is, but Nine of Cups is an awesome card. Um, something will be fulfilled. God will give you something that's going to make you smile. And so when he does that, and he does that every day by waking you up, please give gratitude back. Please say thank you, spirit. Thank you, God. And please give off that energy of love and light and be thankful. Because when you give that energy out, it will come back to you. Um. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that those was your six cards. But as I was shuffling, these two cards came out. I wasn't going to take them, but they landed face forward, face up in my hand. And I asked, I said, should I take these cards? And I just put them on the side. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, the first card is... Three of Swords. Three of Swords means some type of loss, some type of heartache, a breakup, a, a, a death in a family or a friend, some type of loss. And you're thinking about it and you're hurting. But the, the point to this card is there can't be greatness without some heartache. You can't, you have to learn from the hard stuff in life, how to get up and keep going and how to be strong. You see how strong she look? She, you see how strong she look? You have to learn from whatever heartache, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still dealing with a lot of stuff. So, but I get up every day. God wakes me up every day. I deal with it and I keep it pushing. And that's what builds us. So don't worry about that. Pray. Um, the next card is the tower. So this card, it means like destruction or something may come to an end in your life. Like a losing of a job or your dog ran away or you and your friend had a fight and y'all are never going to be friends again. If you look at the bottom of the tower, even the whole tower, the tower's still really standing. So as long as you have your foundation, which is source, you'll be okay. The tower means that something, a chapter in your life is over, no matter what it is. And you're going to start new beginnings. That's really, people look at this card and they think it's bad. But if you, if you have a different perspective on it and know that all the struggles you've been going through, all the, the lows that you've been going through, that there is a new beginning. There is a new beginning. 
there's always a new beginning. There's always a new beginning. And God is always giving us gifts. Always giving us gifts. So just be grateful for what you have, what you get, and give all that gratefulness and all that love back out. And it will come back to you tenfold. Okay, don't give it out just because you're waiting for something to come back. Give love and light out because that is who you are. That is truly who you are. Okay? Um, and you know, I always have a message. My message still is the same one as the same as it was before, which is meditate. Five minutes, y'all. It's been a long time. You should at least be up to 10. Okay? Um, meditate, meditate, meditate. Spread love and light. Um, a kind gesture a day for 30 days would be really awesome. Um, and if you did all of these things, you are going to be abundant and blessed. Even though we all are abundant and blessed because we wake up every day, okay? So stop crying about whatever heartache you had and keep it pushing, perseverance, um, and you'll be okay. <laughs> Trust and believe you will be okay. Um, and that's really it. Sending love and light.